Meteorologist Rachel Piscatelli joining us now with a look at the forecast, Rachel. Brent, we are expecting a wintry mix for ourselves overnight tonight into tomorrow, and that will likely begin after about 7 o'clock or so. Slick road conditions tonight into tomorrow morning, so be mindful of that if you're heading out the door tonight or tomorrow morning early. Another system is expected late Sunday into Monday, so we're kind of the weekend is sandwiched between two systems, so late tonight into tomorrow and then late Sunday into Monday. So most of the day sun Saturday and most of the day Sunday will be dry. Current numbers out there right now are in the 30s. We're at 32 degrees in Torrington, 35 in Hartford, 38 in New Haven, 36 in Chester and 35 right now in Groton. So satellite and radar picking up on some snow that's already moving in the state, but a lot of this is not hitting the ground. I think the main event really will be after about seven o'clock or so. You can see that wintry mix just off to our south and west. That'll be moving in our direction over the course of the next couple of hours. So taking a closer look at this hour by hour forecast, we have a lot of clouds out there now. Then by nine o'clock, we have that rain moving in. If you're along areas, coastal areas, I do think that you really will just mainly see rain. But the more north you go, like in areas in Hartford and north of 84, that's going to be the best chance to see some wintry mix, like some snow, as well as some sleet and even the chance for some freezing rain. Overnight, we'll see that rain continue. And again, that wintry mix, for areas in uh, northern Tallinn or sorry, northern Hartford and Litchfield County area. So that's going to be the main concern for us. After about 2 a.m., though, most of us should switch over to all rain, washing away some of that sleet and even a couple of uh, slushy patches of snow. But then by the time we get to 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, we're seeing things taper off and numbers by the afternoon on Saturday are going to rise into the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees. We're turning partly sunny and we'll be a little bit on the breezy side. We'll have a north to west wind anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So we're dry through the day on Saturday, Sunday night, Sunday morning, I should say, is overall OK, too, with numbers that will be in the 30s, clear skies out there by the afternoon that uh, cloud coverage moves in. And then we are tracking a round of snow Sunday night into Monday morning. Now looking at the ice possibilities here. Now we can't rule out areas just north of 91 in the Hartford and Windsor Locks, but I do think that the best chance to see some of those slick spots is going to be for Litchfield County and some of our higher elevations there. So be mindful of that for tonight into tomorrow morning. Slushy coating to an inch for snow, so really not thinking much in the way of that. And a lot of this is going to be washed away when we switch over to all rain. Temperatures will bottom out in the 30s, rising slightly overnight, which will help prompt that changeover from that wintry mix to rain the winds will be mainly calm and then changing to the northwest wind 10 to 20 tomorrow. We'll have that morning rain turning partly cloudy and temperatures rising into the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees. Then for Saturday Sunday day, we're OK, we're dry. And then by Sunday night, that snow moves in. We could see a potential for accumulation of some snowfall and that'll likely clear out by Monday afternoon. So we do have to watch that potential for the Monday morning commute. Temperatures, though, on Sunday will be in the upper 30s, so a pretty drastic difference between Saturday's highs and Sunday's highs. And then by the time we get to Monday, temperatures will be in the middle to lower 40s. And Tuesday, we're dry. Temperatures partly cloudy in the low 40s, so not a bad day for that either. Wednesday, not looking bad. And even Thursday, so right through the start and middle of the week, we're okay. And then by Friday, we'll have to watch our next potential system and temperatures will be in the upper 30s.